Hi everyone, this is Doran from Float VR, and uh, I thought I'll do something a little new today, a little uh, different, and just run Float and uh, record myself talking about my thoughts this morning. And I'll run uh, Imagine and I'll just uh, talk about some stuff. So, as I float into here, it's quite empty. It starts with these big clouds. Um, and then slowly we, we find out where we are. And it's of course, as, as we have it in float, uh, it's going to be different uh, every time. And we've been debating a bit about whether starting with an empty space like that is the right way to go. We'd love to hear your input on that, uh, whether that's the right way to go, whether we should actually start with something interesting so you get plunged into the, the you know, the more intriguing stuff uh, earlier, like right away. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So one of the things that we were also sort of debating is how much fog we want to have in here. Um, and we landed on this, uh, sort of having things um, feel sort of, you know, recede more into the background uh, when they're a bit further away. And to me that feels like everything is sort of bigger and more mysterious I guess uh, which I like for this experience and I like it that when uh, we get um, closer to things like I like the bit of mystery of something kind of shrouded in the fog way back in the distance and I get to sometimes just see the shape and maybe try and figure out what that is um, Personally, I I really enjoy those what we have uh, here the big canyon that you can you get to float through. There's something in big shapes in size that for some reason I, I really don't know why is soothing to 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 the human mind. I think that's part of the reason we like going to the to the beach, right? Because we we get we get to see the bigness of the ocean. That's why we like mountains. And it just gives you this feeling of being part of something bigger. And I think you know this floating through these big uh, through this big canyon here, it, it kind of gives me that same that same feeling. I have many ideas on how we can improve uh, this by adding more details to it and so on, but just the sheer size I think is, is doing quite a lot for me. And also going from this kind of darkish thing out into the, the open again is to me feels very, very um, uh, Relaxing, I guess. One of the ideas we had for this experience was to move uh, between areas that have, that are more solid. They have rocks, they have a floor. You'll see uh, in a bit, I guess. And these, so this is one part of the experience. The other part is where you have vast expenses of, of just emptiness and uh, with these, you know, a little bit of floating rocks and this, these sort of floating creatures. Um, and here's another one there. Do you see the, do you see the sky far away in the sky? Um, 
So, yeah, and there's always this, you know, part of the part of the main points of focus that we have for the application is how do we how do we um, balance this versus that, right? How much emptiness versus how much something that's more solid, that's more that has more details in it and so on. Again, all of these things are, this is a unique thing. Um, nobody ever did anything quite like that. So that we're writing the playbook as we go along, we're figuring it out and we're figuring it out with you guys. So any feedback you guys can give us in the Facebook group, um, or you know, you write us an email or any other way that you would prefer. Uh, that's really, really valuable for us. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, if you have criticism, if something bothers you, you can definitely do that. Of course, we always love hearing good stuff, but we also really, really love hearing uh, what doesn't work for you because this is how we learn and this is how we we, we grow. And, and again, there's no other way for us, there's no playbook for that. Um, so there's no other way for us to really know whether, you know, what works. We know what works for us, but uh, different people have different tastes. So, you know, being able to hear you guys um, and sort of even be super specific and say, you know, I don't like this shape or I, you know, or this, this particular thing I really, really like, like the one with the canyon. Uh, that I just said um, that I really like, like that kind of stuff really, really uh, is going to help us. I think I'm saying greedy too much, aren't I? So this is what I meant before when I said I like that things are a bit shrouded in this mysterious fogginess, like I can see that there are, that there's some sort of world under there, I see, I, I, you know, like far under me. I can see the shapes and I can sort of my brain is is busy on some level trying to trying to guess trying to add in the details that are missing and I think that's um, that's part of what works in in float actually um, this sort of activation of the brain on a I would say on a like on a neurological level, it's not even a, a conscious, deliberate thing. The brain just cannot help but trying, but to try to discern what these shapes are and how does it all come together. That's our theory, at least. So here you can see we got uh, to this area where there's more concrete uh, floor, which really kind of feels good in a different way. They both feel good. This feels like I'm a little bit more grounded. It feels um, like there's something to, to, to hold on to, uh, which is a good feeling, but having the complete emptiness is a good feeling in a different way for me again i can i can only say what works for, we can only only know what works for us so you'll have to tell us what works for you but um i think there's something to life which is kind of like that you go from something you know, i just moved to a new apartment right so I, I kind of did w w exactly what's happening now I was moving from something solid something familiar something um, you know that I could grab a hold uh, you know, I had a, had clarity on and the move sort of throws you into this space of unknown right where things are new you don't exactly um, have your routine sort of set up you you have to put it together. I think there's something compelling. And, and this is just, you know, I'm just musing on it as I go 
through this, I think there's something compelling, um, something lifelike in this experience of going from the, the more solid uh, space, um, from the more solid area to the more ethereal, um, empty area. I think life is built like that in a, in a way, these transitions. Here's a little Onidia here. In this area, we kept the creatures a bit further out, um, but probably we'll, we'll ask them to come in and participate a bit more um, in the space. That's, that's part of what we plan to do. And of course, add many things and creatures and and then parts to this experience. I really like this. This is awesome. This is this feels like this area right here where the cloud transitions smoothly into land. That's like that's awesome. I haven't seen that before. I love that float, even though we're creating it. I love that float. It surprises me uh, every time. You know, even us. Even me, I get surprised with what I see. I mean, like I don't like. This is crazy to me because I I don't know what that is. I built this, but I don't know what it's made of. I never built such a thing. I don't know where this is coming from. Honestly, it's a combination of things that I can't exactly recognize. That's actually pretty crazy. Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna call it as we do another one of those transitions. Oh, I like the cracks, looking at the kind of the, the clouds through the cracks. Um, anyway, I what's this little thing coming out of the rock? You see, that's what I mean. Like, I don't always recognize those things. Anyway, I think as we transition into the emptiness here again, I think I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, you know, let me know. Uh, whether you like this sort of thing, this sort of uh, amusing thing, it has a combination of, you know, s probably always going to have a combination of something about life, something about float, something about, you know, what we're doing and what we're planning to do. Um, yeah, you know, if you like this sort of thing, I'm happy to do these uh, weekly, bi-weekly, you know, we'll see what works. Anyway, have a great week, and I hope you liked it. <laughs>